find all the possible primes p for which there exists an integer n such that p divides n cubed plus 3 and p divides n raised to the power 5 plus 5. You are watching Brain Explorers, the world where brain starts working. This vertical bar drawn between A and B can be used only if A is a factor of B and it can be read as A divides B. You can write 2 divides 14, you can write 7 divides 14, but you cannot write 8 divides 14. For this, you can use negation of the symbol which is represented by a small cut on this bar and it is read as 8 does not divide 14. In solving this problem, we will use the following theorem. Let a, b, c, m and n are integers and a divides b as well as c then a divides m b plus n c also. For example, we know that 6 divides 36 and 120. Multiply any integer with 120 and any integer with 36 then add. The resulting number is also divisible by 6. 6 divides 120 times 7 plus 36 times 11 or 6 divides 120 times 23 plus 36 times 87. You can choose negative integers and 0 also. 6 divides 120 times negative 29 plus 36 times 0. It is given that p divides n cubed plus 3 and n raised to the power 5 plus 5. It implies that p divides this first number multiplied by n square minus second number. n square is multiplied here so that n raised to the power 5 gets cancelled out. You can see that another term is obtained which is divisible by p but this time exponent of n is less than both of previous exponents. This is what we will try to do in our next steps also. We will try to obtain the polynomials in terms of n which are divisible by p but degree of polynomial should be less than or equal to the previous polynomial. Now we will try to cancel out n cubed and 3n squared. They can get cancelled if both become 3n cubed. So we multiply 3 with n cubed plus 3 n with 3n squared minus 5 and find their difference. We find that 5n plus 9 is also divisible by p. Since p divides 3n squared minus 5 and 5n plus 9, it implies that p also divides 3n times 5n plus 9 minus 5 times 3n squared minus 5, that means p divides 27n plus 25. Previous expression as well as this expression both are monomials, and this is helpful because after this we will obtain a constant number independent of n. Multiply 5n plus 9 with 27 and 27n plus 25 with 5 and subtract 1 from other. We get 118. So we conclude that if p divides n cubed plus 3 and n cubed plus 5 it also divides 118. 118 has two prime factors which are 2 and 59. It means possible prime numbers which satisfy the condition in the quotient are 2 and 59. One should not get confused that why this doesn't follow for all n. Our first assumption is that p divides n cubed plus 3 and fifth power of n plus 5. Therefore, it is possible in many cases that p doesn't divide one or both of these. It is also possible that only 2 divides or only 59 divides both of these for some value of n. In this particular format, if a is in place of 3 and b is in place of 5, then p divides fifth power of a minus b cubed. Let's move to our another question. How much distance will the bicycle shown below travel if the pedal makes 1.5 revolutions? Try this question and send us your solution and if you have any question like this then please share with us. Don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel Brain Exploders. Thanks for watching.